So in the previous video, we used uh, rectangles in order to estimate the area between a curve and its x-axis, okay? And we were looking at this curve y equals x squared plus 1. Now, you don't have to use rectangles. I mean, um, as we saw, uh, we could increase the number of rectangles uh, in order to get a better estimate uh, of that area. But even when we doubled the number of strips, um, it didn't really still give us a very good approximation. And we would probably have to do quite a number of strips to get a reasonably good uh, answer. If we use trapeziums, however, okay, the idea with that is that uh, if I draw a strip between 0 and 0 0.5, then I'm going to estimate this area by just joining this endpoint to that endpoint with a straight line. So creating that trapezium. So I do the same for 1. I do the same for 1.5. And then I do the same for 2. OK. You can already see that with just four strips, I have found a much better estimate for that area. OK. So if I remember the... Um, so if I build a table of results again, so for the x's and y's, OK. So um, we're going to need all of them this time. So 0... Uh, 0 0.5, 1, 1 0.5, 2, okay, because I need the endpoints of my trapeziums. So that would be 1, uh, 0.5 squared, uh, so 1.25, 1 squared plus 1, 1.5 squared plus 1 was 3.25, and then 2 squared plus 1 was 5. Okay, now the area of that first trapezium, now remember the area of a trapezium is one half h a plus b. So where a trapezium, looking like that, uh, this is h, the width of the strip, the height of the first side, the height of the second side. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the area of the first one, okay, so that would be one half times the width of the strip, 0 0.5, times by the first and the second, so 1 plus 1.25. So that is 0, so the area will be 0 0.5625. That's the first one, that's that one. Then we've got 0, uh, 1 half times 0 0.5 times the first, so 1.25 plus the second, so 2. So that's 0.8125. So that's the second one. The third one, uh, we've got a half times 0 0.5. And then we've got the first, so 2, plus the second, 3.25. So that gets us 1.3125. And then the final trapezium is 1 half times 0 0.5 times the first, 3.25, plus 5. That's 33 over 16, so 2.0625. Add all of those together. And we get 4.75. Okay? So um, an even better estimate of that actual area. So let's, uh, for argument's sake, just see how close it actually is. So if we use integration, uh, we're going to integrate x squared plus 1 between 0 and 2. So adding 1 to the power divided by the new power. Substituting in 2, we're going to get 8 over 3 plus 2. Substituting in 0, we're going to get 0 plus 0. So we've got 8 thirds plus 2, so 14 thirds, which is 4.6 recurring. So in actual fact, with only 4 strips, 
we've got quite a reasonable estimate for the area of that curve. And what we're seeing is that we're getting uh, an overestimate of the curve because each of my trapeziums uh, lies above the curve. And we'll look at more, look more at uh, overestimates and underestimates um, later on in this section.